So just a bit of introduction. Um, I'm, I'm actually from Bangladesh. So I've, I've been I'm born and bred. I've been there all my life. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I, I studied in IUB, um, Independent University, Bangladesh, and I finished my undergraduate there in finance. Um, and I've been there all my life, but in 2018, I, I moved to Singapore. Uh, and you know, since then I've been based here. So I live here with my wife. Um, and obviously right now, I think um, every one of us kind of you know, working from home. So I'm guessing that so same here in Singapore, um, you know, we are working from home. Situation is better than Dhaka, I would imagine, because it kind of, it's very controlled. It's a, I'm a you know, bar with the party and everything, but um, still, you know, based here and kind of working and living from home, as you know. Um, so I moved here in 2018 to actually join Grab. Um, so Hoyto Anike, like for those of you who don't know Grab, um, Grab is Southeast Asia's first Decacorn um, and super app. So if you know the likes of Alibaba, uh, Taobao, um, you know, maybe you know Uber, uh, Grab Pay, Wallet. So it's a, basically a combination. It combines almost 13 different services in one app. Um, so a app the app, you can go from place A to B, you can get on-demand food, um, the online payment of Kota Barbin, similar to Bcash in Bangladesh, um, remittance, um, there's also insurance, there's finance, um, there's also rewards. So on a kitchen is um, you know, you can you can get all the services. Um, advertising and sales partnerships. So basically, app users are ashe. Brand advertising, offer, content place you know, how can I bring brands in front of the advertisers, in front of the consumers, um, drive results. Um, so before Grab, I actually spent um, you know, three and a half years in Dhaka. So I used to be a Bangladesh country marketing consultant for Google as well. Um, I think a lot of you, you know, I, I actually know through my work at Google at that time. I was also working with a startup of mine called Notion Hive. Um, so separately, I also do a lot of, um, you know, in advisory um, board activities. So I'm actually IUB School of Business Shatone Kachkuri to try and help um, bridge the gap between, um, you know, the academy and the industry. To try and make sure that we know, you know, industry that just gap gula chhe, industry that just observations gula chhe, she gula amra university curriculum me amra jono establish korte pari. Um, so that's a little bit about myself. Um, ebong, again, I've been very fortunate je, you know, I mean, you know, onik global Fortune 500 companies shete kaj korte pari ebong korte. Um, so mainly amar kaj hoy with the type of uh, consumer companies, right? So com companies like Unilever, uh, PNG, Nestle. Um, then on um, the technology side of companies, the Shatama partnership drive for you. So for example, Samsung, Apple, uh, Huawei. So these are some of my biggest names. Um, similarly, I also work with finance. So finance, um, industry, Jerukum, HSBC, Standard Chartered. Um, these are all my clients. Ibong, um, what I've been very lucky is that a uh, you know, different type of culture. So I'm Jokon Bangladesh take Southeast Asia to move Kori, Ibong APAC and move Kori. Tokon um, you know, I mean. We culture ta ebong we work ethic ta ami onek bhalo bhabe difference ami bujhte pari. So, um, you know, what is the priority? Jadher, you know, apni jodi ata Bangladesh context ek chinta koren versus a global context ek chinta koren. How does the company think? Um, other key key differences hoy, other initiatives kula kero kom scale hoy. Um, ebong um, cano ora you know different market a different different strategies kore. So we experience ta actually ami experience korte pari. Ebong I think a lot of my lessons will be um, today for you as well. So a session that take up me ultimately keep up. So, you know, and hopefully at the end of the session, at a strategic partnership develop know what are the fundamental steps? So, you know, key key overarching steps, what are the different aspects that I've considered court the can we aspects will different high than let's say um, a normal one of trade, right? So that's the first one. The second one, which is, I'm looking through another during in everyday work. We always have negotiations, right? After you get a supplier horn, then you have a negotiation as a vendor, right? After you get a buyer horn, then you have a negotiations as, uh, you know, a sourcer, right? But a difference, a negotiation versus a strategic negotiation with a difference to key. 
um, even how does the difference between a one-off trade versus at a long-term strategic partnership, you know, what are the differences? I think that is the main um, key and takeaway from this session. Jay, what are the what are the differences in each of these types of conversations? Even if you have a special you know tactic or you know strategy use score, you can grow a relationship from just a one-off trade into a long-term discussion. Even last hopefully you can take some of these lessons um, and then try and apply it in your day-to-day -day, um, adventures or day-to-day -day initiatives, right? Um, so first of all, just some fundamentals, right? So what is strategic partnership? So strategic partnership is actually a very, very big and large, um, you know, topic. There is no one definition, um, but you know, if you if you ask me, essentially, it's about a few things, right? So first thing, what's the fundamental, right? Um, if you want to think about developing a strategic partnership, the first thing that is important is foundation to key What is the foundation of this partnership? Is it just going to be a one-off trade? Um, are you going to enter a new market together? Um, initiative at a campaign run Corbin. What is the clear scope and objective of this partnership? Why do you want to work together? Now, obvious you know, discussion at a meeting product produce then my only role is to produce that product. I'm you get a product buy my only role is to buy the product. So we always think it's a buyer and a seller relationship. But actually, strategic partnerships say it's not always a straight buyer and seller relationship, right? Um, there are many other players in the ecosystem. different role play the parent, right? So to give you an example. Um, let's say you are, you know, you're, you're, you're approaching a client, right? And you don't want this to be just a one-off selling. Japanese just of the product of sell Corbin, and you're not going to, um, you know, do anything about it, right? So a classic example, which is Jokon, um, an app developer, uh, Google, uh, for example, Apple store, when they work together, right? Um, at the app developer, all they want to do is just kind of develop the app, right? Um, typically, I just want to develop my app. I want to put it on Google Play. I mean, I just want Google Play or Apple Play to pay me for every download, right? But that's a very one-off one relationship. There's no clear guidance from you. But that relationship becomes strategic. So for example, Jokon, as an app developer, you're not just putting your product in the store, but you're actually saying, how can I improve the app platform, right? Um, how can I improve the overall experience of your customer at the end of the day? Um, what is the ultimate outcome for not just me as an app developer, but Apnar, you know, the, the platform, the app uh, app store, what is your outcome as well? So questions what you're doing is you're essentially creating a very clear foundation on the different role and the motivation of the different parties, right? You know, to clear questions of things like, you know, what is the overall business impact that I want, right? Do I just want to have, uh, do I just want to make money or do I want to you know, improve the ecosystem? Um, who cares about these outcomes, right? Indirectly, even directly, Jara, a outcome is related, um, you know, interact with the party, right? So if you look to the picture on your right, it's about setting that foundation so that ultimately, you know, you know what your role is and you know Jay, what the other party is bringing to the table. So that's the first step of uh, developing that, that, that strategic kind of partnership, right?